मित्रों और बंधुओं फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर जे रेडी एट साउथ एशिया मैप्स यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इंटेलेक्चुअल क्षत्रिय चैनल एजुकेशन चैनल दैट ब्रिंग्स अबाउट साउथ एशियन हेरिटेज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मैप्स आइकन्स एंड इमेजेस वंस वाइल आई ऑल्सो पोस्ट एन अदर रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स टूडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट human ecology human impasse essentially based upon the concepts of uh, a pioneering work done by talk dr william cotton junior his monumental books overshoot book and bottle neck book on human ecology that is human predicament and dilemma or human impasse in this bottle neck century this is a part 22 in this uh, i will cover ecological bloom very important concept ecological bloom ecological crash they go hand in hand this is the starting point this is the ending point that is the crash so i put it here bloom means growing essentially eruption crash means die off decrease in number of a particular organism or species so here because we are talking about the bloom i represented in a bigger font we will talk in the later about the ecological crash these are the very important concepts one has to understand so that you can interpret what is happening to humanity now on the planet earth we are looking up human history in the ecological term that constrains us essentially beyond the political and social perspective blue means eruption that means an invading species in a habitat in a land accesses a new habitat finds a very large number of resources very convenient atmosphere there is a rapid exponential increase of the population that is ecological bloom ecological bloom is eruptions so these are the dr cotton's overshoot book ecological basis of a revolutionary change sequel of that book is the bottle neck He was the professor emeritus at Washington State University, Pullman, Northwest Pacific region of United States, that is east of Cascade Mountains, south of 49th parallel, separating Canadian territory, and these works I have posted. This is uh, my YouTube channel, a uh, South Asia Maps Jerry. There are more than 200. plus videos already presented you can go on look at them and if you like the content i request you to subscribe the channel and bring to notice of your friends i will be putting this particular presentation under the playlist called the human ecology you can see there are nearly 18 videos are there similar videos you can see human population they go hand in hand you can find them if you are interested only ecological aspects of the presentations so the cycles of the bloom and crash what happens let's say this is a vat that contains a carbohydrate rich or sugar rich grape juice that is a habitat invading species means when maker puts a inaculum or some amount of yeast here the yeast all of a sudden find a very fascinating habitat with plenty of resources invader species and they bloom in the new habitat rich in resources and they bloom and bloom and bloom eventually they destroy the habitat by producing changing the habitat they make the alcohol this habitat now with plenty of alcohol is not suitable for the organisms to survive and also there is no more sugars or carbohydrates they all of them crash eventually the point is the bloom that is the bloom the invading species 
a new habitat rich in the resources they bloom sequel is the crash we'll talk later how do we apply this you can see in this part europe and africa asia especially europeans they settled and found the new lands new habitat at the time the entire new world that is north america south america has a around about 30 or 40 million projected population that means we are talking about 1500 ad era of voyages and discovery of the trade routes sea lanes to north america by 1800 or so the population became 1 billion when the nixon resigned his office 74 1974 four billion now during the biden's time there are 8 billion on the planet Earth. that means the europeans found the new habitat plenty of resources no competition at all they removed the flora and the fauna and restricted the dispensable what they thought native to amer indians to reservations they bloomed themselves now dr cotton thinks there is a great potential they can undergo the crash like any other biotic organism the bloom is eruption see we starting less and yeast are humans they erupted a lot rapid exponential population increases the bloom the cycles of the bloom and crash are very common in the habitat this habitat especially habitats of detritus ecosystem i talked about extensively detritus essentially decaying or dead organic matter grape juice is a decaying or dead organic matter yeast find it and the bloom and crash detritus in our sense means in carboniferous era the lot of plant and animal plant kingdom and bacteria their life they got denied and buried heat and pressure made them into coal they made them into oil they made them made into natural gas these are also detritus ecosystems today humans are living in the detritus ecosystem they are called homo colossus a giant human beings i talked about the homo colossus is a gigantic human being a resource prodigal compared to his cousin normal simple humans subsistence survival in the topic so this when we say detritus ecosystem in the human sense you can say detritus equals to fossil fuels that is the coal natural gas oil and so on homo colossus any person who organism eats it is a war carnivore herbivore like the detritivore this is a particular seral means a stage homo sapiens is stage and the energy protocol homo colossus is also a seral stage ecologically so what happens when the crash occurs there can be succession there sometimes there can be a successor there can be a succession without a successor what does it mean means suppose the homo colossus collapses or crashes there not there may not be a next seral stage that means succession happened but there is no successor that what it is there can be ecological succession without a successor this is preventable this is not preventable by organisms for humans we are not exempted by rapid subjectivity our own way of thinking or anthropomorphic thinking this happened the easter island now part of chile and uh, there was a large number of humans is there when the europeans discovered it first found and after some time when they visited them they all the population reduced a lot that is the, they bloomed a lot and uh, whatever may the reason they crashed the numbers came down historically very low that is the ecological bloom ecological eruption dr carton discusses about yeah this is uh, where is this east island east island if you go there when the east island is now a part of uh, country called chile 
This is the Chile, South America, somewhere here, the Chile, Easter Island between Australia and Chile. This is the Easter Island, politically part of it. When Europeans first discovered there is to be a large number of uh, the humans and when they came later, there are huge monuments they constructed this, the called uh, the statues Moe. But where is very less people, that means they figured it out. A crash of the native population, this is an island, thousands of kilometers away, they cannot go anywhere. The population increased, the social stress, they start fighting each other and they killed each other. They bloomed and crashed. That is an example of Easter Island represents ecologically bloom of homo sapiens humans and crash of homo sapiens this is dr william carter jr uh, that is when you see here this is the the chile south america here east island will be somewhere here this is the chile in southern part of south america that is essentially about the ecological bloom and the sequel of ecological bloom is the crash bloom is the eruption when the invading species whether it's the east or homo sapiens a biotic community human beings find a new habitat resource rich they always bloom that is the nature of the life and we are not exempted but we have to be very cautious what we are doing and we should pay attention to that the same fate like easter islanders can happen to the current new human being that what dr carton feels that is the population overshoot can lead to bottleneck the bottleneck century that is the human impasse human predicament Thank you very much for joining me today. This is your presenter, JRD, our South Asia Maps. See you in other presentations. Friends, Mitrom and Badwom.